Wednesday, February 5, 2020, the Minister of Local Government, Tambalamina, and other big alleged them na the Ministry of Local Government been appear before MP them na the Committee on Local Government na the Salon Parliament for answer to different question them we get for do with the work of this ministry in relation to different concern them we don't meet the Committee on Local Government. Not to secret say the Ministry of Local Government even get big quarter deck with the Salon Parliament during the term with Parliament where they approved the country in 2020 budgets. During this term, the Ministry of Local Government not been satisfied Parliament's requirement them for grief for them budgets and this be make MP them be move motion say Parliament for cease first the couple with the Ministry of Local Government for get for the year 2020. And up till now, the Salon Parliament still hold on to the budget line of the Ministry of Local Government until further notice. The Ministry of Local Government is not responsible for all the 19 local councils in the Salon and for making sure they operate one kind way for the good of all Salon people. But the Committee on Local Government don't find out plenty of them say most of them local council here not only do them work fine and the Ministry of Local Government not look busy but this. Listen to waiting Honorable Horace Vincent where they represent constituency 111 in the Western Area Rural District get for see what this. We want to draw, I personally want to draw your attention to one council that I was a teenager. The Kailam, Kailam District Council. I was a team lead to Kailam District Council. The accountant there could not defend the documents, documents related to the income and expenditure of that council. I was a team lead to that council. And generally, my observation going out to these councils. It's like some of these councils we have square beds in round rooms. I was in the council last week, myself and the uh, Iron Baby, Honorable Zainal Tari. We were at Bond, the report you got. It was a disgrace. Let me bring that to your notice. It was a disgrace. Honorable Catherine Zainab Tarawali, who they represent constituency 037, Nabombali District, self been joined in comping MP them for making points clear but the way and manner where he thinks the Ministry of Local Government don't left handle with the Committee on Local Government and say Parliament go force the Ministry of Local Government for do the right thing. But now, what's the to the Minister? We, as Parliament, have forced you to do the right thing. If we, my colleagues are afraid of saying it, we will say it. We will force you to do the right thing. We will do that. Because we are here to represent the people of Sierra Leone. And the Ministry of Local Government is in charge of Sierra Leone. Having 22 local councils means a lot in Sierra Leone. So if you are not asking to us that is, we are representing the people, it means there is no need for us to have a local government in the And that is one main reason why we decided to take care of your budget and we'll continue to hold it until we answer to all of our questions. The other one is, in this liquidation that the ministry sent to us, there is no signature of anybody to be accountable. So Mr. Chairman, I ask that we take note of this and will not be work on it. Because we cannot work on a document that doesn't have what we call a signature of the accountant, nor the signature of the permanent secretary. One other area back where Honorable Catherine Zainab Tarawali talk about get for do with the over 70 million units where the Ministry of Local Government don't they receive from government every month for monitor the cleaning exercise where they go on a different part of them at the country where according to Honorable Catherine Zainab Tarawali, the Ministry of Local Government not only make use of this couple the right way. Mr. Chairman, I've been to Koenakibu, I've been to Matsujong, I've been to Bo, Koenakibu,
the chairman for the committee on local governments and the saloon parliament honorable musa fufana inside this meeting safe been called on the ministry of local government for try fix date for conduct paramount chief tense election them in a different part of the country we according to them the date for the election them year don't overdue for the outstanding elections for permanent chances. The reason is because we need to understand that there is only one year needed for region chiefs. There are region chiefs all over this country. We also have serious problems with councils. We have seen council staffs with appointment letters, Mr. Minister. For over one year, they don't have salary. They have their appointment letters. For over one year, they don't have salary, and now we are talking about interview. So on that note, let the interview go on, but we want to advise the commission not to take any action. After the interview, we want to see the recommendations as part of it, and we will advise the public. Honorable Fofana been make them clear say the document the parliament been asked the Ministry of Local Government for present to them on how this ministry spend different cop of them for the year 2019 not correct and that parliament not go agree for this document. Mr. Minister, this document here we cannot accept. One technical point came up. We have paid 250, 250 million, 300 consultant and we don't know what is the total amount we need to pay to the consultant. We also have something here which says transport allowance to 50 participants in each that's Kailan Wokenema Kono. But the amount here was five million two hundred and fifty thousand and the total amount here is twenty six million two fifty. But if you divide this five million to this one or if you calculate this to fifty it's 262 million. It's not 26 million. Yeah. Even if it's by district, it's 525,000. It's not 5 million 250,000. So with all those problems identified, we don't want to accept this document as the document we believe the ministry will give us as parliament. The Minister of Local Government, Tambalamina, where he will they respond. See, the ministry not glad for the fact the parliament don't tap make the Ministry of Finance not give them copper for carry on with them activity them for the year 2020. We be make the Minister of Local Government, Tambalamina, beg the Committee on Local Government for making ministry get copper for the year 2020. Of course, as you are calling us to order to discuss the issues is the best way for it. And I'm sure we will make amends as a ministry. I'm looking forward to it. Again, if we will be able to open up the kind of walls here, it will be very difficult to close whatever it becomes. What we need to do is to engage and cooperate going forward and to ensure that, as the chairman said earlier, that it is for the good of the committee and to leave our own life back. Uh, I will allude to some of the issues that you raised. And that is because you have, that is what the chairman of the local government has mentioned. We know that what we're supposed to do. There are issues. That is why we put systems in place to try and root out the differences that will destroy the things that you're talking about in the world. The whole raft of processes that we're currently engaging is aimed at making parliament a soul, the local government service delivery effective. What you wouldn't say to us, honorable members of parliament, is that for the latter part since the leadership of this ministry, that we have been working to amend some of the concerns that you have. And already I've alluded to that in my introductory remark. But this group council is saying it is based, the process is on the way to see what the issues are. And I, even that we went to what I have over the meeting is on the process of the government. When I went to the office, it's 
Minister of Local Government, Tambalamina, say the Committee on Local Government for the call the Ministry of Local Government for discuss some of the issue them when a concern so that they go find solution them as the Ministry of Local Government na mortal man them did they we not perfect. Still, Parliament no gi yet the Ministry of Local Government and Copo and the Ministry of Local Government still get plenty question them for answer to the Committee on Local Government where they no answer it where the Committee on Local Government say they will call back the Ministry for continue with this discussion later. For Salon Parliament I on Gla TV Online, me na Abdullah Gla the reports.